Well, that's not good. Hi, I'm Russ. I'm rebuilding a 1977 Mobile Traveler motorhome. This is all about the MT and me. Welcome back to the MT and me. As you can see, I've run across a bit of a problem. <laughs> Seems the uh, plastic on this side window of Pearl, and also, although you can't see it, the front window on this side as well, has completely disintegrated. Well, fortunately, we're in the period of uh, no rainfall here. This is that a few weeks every year, we get absolutely beautiful autumn weather in the Mid-South, and that's exactly what we're getting now. Daytime temps in the 80s, nighttime lows in the 50s, and no rain. Now, the only downside to that is that uh, it is getting a little dry. Fire danger's up. We're under a burn ban again here in the month of October. Go figure. But it also means that I don't have to worry about Rainfall getting into Pearl for a couple of days, but why wait? I've got the plastic. Let's recover these uh, damaged windows or window openings while uh, we have the chance and the pretty weather to work with. Let's well, cut that one pretty good. I'll come back and trim the bottom off a little later on. Now let's see if we can get the front window covered. other one's got a hole in it and this is about to tear up so while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and replace it as well oddly enough the rest of the plastic doesn't look too bad especially the plastic that's on the other side of pearl maybe it doesn't get as much sunlight or something like that I don't know but it hasn't broken down as quickly this piece however 
needs to be replaced. said the other plastic seems to be holding up pretty well so I'm not going to worry about it at least not today especially since we're about to run out of daylight oh and by the way my adhesive of choice is good old reliable ape tape I've had better results out of Gorilla Tape holding this plastic and holding up to the elements than I have any other type of stick-on product so not necessarily an endorsement here but this stuff is good it gets the job done and that's going to do the job for this evening what's coming up next i'm not sure but that's a project for tomorrow Everything turns. We're obviously back at the front end of Pearl. I mentioned uh, a couple of times now that I wanted to do uh, some rust converter treatments here on the front of the engine. Well, I get down here to looking at the front of the engine and I realize it needs a good cleaning before we put any kind of rust converter on there at all. I mean, there's surface rust, but what has me concerned is this gunk that's on the front. And you see that? It's just years and years of dirt and grease. Engines get dirty. It happens, especially when uh, a vehicle sets up for so long like Pearl did. So, uh, we got brushes. We got rags. <laughs> we've got scrapers. And we have something to cut through the grease and we're about to get busy doing some cleaning on the at least the front part of pearl's beautiful 360 dodge motor let's get to it
All right. I think that has it just about as clean as I can get it. We've got as much gunk off of the mountings that we can. Use a little degreaser, let that soak in, and then brushed and rubbed that off. That helped to get it real clean. The pulleys are uh, still a little rusty looking, but there's no dirt on them. That's the important thing. And there's no loose rust. Everything you're seeing now is, uh, is surface rust. That's what they call it anyway. And that's exactly what the uh, rust converter will attack. It'll turn that into a protective coating and prevent any additional rusting. So, now that we've got things gunk free and rust free, let's put that little rusty critter to work. Put on a coat of Rustzilla. See what the front of Pearl's engine looks like then. Well, that's got most of the major parts covered with the uh, rust converter. I think I'm going to stop where I am for now, let this set and dry, maybe give it a day or two to set in real well, see what it looks like, and then see if we need to come back with some additional touch-up or maybe a second coat. Just right now, as it's starting to turn black, remember this stuff goes on kind of light gray and then it turns black as it sets and dries. So far it's looking pretty good. Looking a lot better than staring at that rust. But I'm sure that whenever it does completely dry, I'm still going to be able to find some spots of rust coming through that I've missed that are hard to see now. So I'm fairly certain we're going to have to come back and do a little bit of touching up. But for now... I'd call it a pretty good afternoon's work, trying to get uh, Pearl's motor looking better and rust-proofed. And on that note, it's time to wrap up another week on the MT and Me. But before I go, I have a little uh, list to modify here, okay? Remember this? Our to-do list, right on top is modify and mount the carb. Well, guess what? It's not completely mounted, but it's close enough. Within the next week or two, I hope to have it in place. So that's taken care of. Okay, what else is on here that we can do? Um, I think replace ignition wiring. I have ordered my little uh, wire connectors that I need, the little, what they call uh, butt connectors, crimping butt connectors. So we may work on that next week. We'll just have to see if they come in and... What our time system works out like okay so anyway that's one off that list let's look at the purchase list uh let's see 
again mounting nuts for carburetors we have bought those okay Still looking for just about everything else on here, I think. Oh, we have bought the rust converter. I was just using it, right? So, got the rust converter too. So that's two off of our purchase list. Still a few more things to go. And like I said, I've got a couple of things on order right now that maybe uh, we can put to use next week as we continue to restore Pearl here on the MT and Me. If you'd like to help, there's a link below where you can buy me a coffee, and uh, help to contribute to the Pearl Restoration Project. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You can click below and take care of that in just one click. While you're at it, give us a thumbs up, click like, and share this video. That really helps the YouTube numbers. And it helps me get along and continue this project of restoring my precious Mobile Traveler motor home. Hope you'll join me for it again next week, all right? Till then, I'm Russ, and we will talk later. One of these days, I'm going to learn to use gloves whenever I use rust converter. I'm going to see if I can wash this stuff off my hands now.